I would say, you know, to anybody, just record yourself as much as possible and record your rehearsals and record your gigs because you could think you're doing something so exciting and it's like, wow, that sounds really small because you sped up or you're playing all this stuff and it just sounds frantic, you know, and depending on how you're wanting to sound, you know, or maybe it doesn't sound frantic enough, you know, you're like, man, I was really digging in and it just I actually played slower. Whoa. Okay. So it may not translate through those speakers. You know, so getting comfortable and knowing how to, how to, what you want to put across, how to do that on a recording. Because live it's different, you know what I mean? If, you're, if, you, just, if you just hit that cymbal harder, people are going to see that and they're going to be like, wow, you know, you, they can feel that. But through the speakers, that might sound not good. You know, anything, anything could happen, you know. So that's, I mean, that's one thing in the studio, it's just you don't hit the cymbals as hard. I recorded everything on a little ghetto blaster on cassette. And I'd go home and listen to it, listen to it, listen to it all. And every day when Mr. Big would rehearse or we'd get together, or I was jamming or whatever, I, 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 had, I had thousands of tapes. And uh, you learn so much. It's like a, a, a picture is worth a thousand words and, and a listen is worth a mm. many, many, many more when you listen to yourself back. Because then you go, you realize things that you don't realize. Mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of times there's good news. Yeah. It's like, whoa, I'm really doing good. Like I thought it was maybe not going to sound so hot, but you know, it, well that was you know when I was learning the beat to take cover, I'm playing it, and I don't know how it feels for you when you play it, but I just felt like I was trying to ride a unicycle. And <laughs> jump, it just felt so weird, and I could feel like my hi hat kind of ahead, because that's how I play my kicks a little bit behind my hi hat, which for most things works, but this I just was like it, and I just recorded it, and I was like, oh, it sounds fine, and that you know that made me comfortable. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing good, you know, good to know. So a lot of times there's good news. It's not just, right. you know, you got to work on this and this. It's like, that's, that's kicking ass, you know? And, and I've picked out Phil's accident things, things I've done by accident. Like, oh my God, that's cool. What, what, what was that? What, what would I do there? You know, just trying something goofy. And then all of a sudden I was like, bang, oh, wow, that's cool. You know, 